Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Linux Lite. The 6.0 version has been released, which is based on Ubuntu 22.04, and we're gonna go through it. So without further ado, let's quickly dive right in. Okay, so when you boot Linux Lite up after installing it, it somehow shows install now. Well, I'm not gonna pick on it, but this is your welcome dialog box. So as you can see on the left, you have start here, so, uh, install updates, install drivers, set a restore point, install language support, and select a dark or light theme. So this is new, okay? We're going to go through this. So if I click on any of those, as you can see, it shows you the steps for each of these. So install updates, drivers, restore point. Uh, you even have information about UEFI, secure boot, and the most important thing for this video is light theme or dark theme. Now, I believe this is now using a new window theme called Materia that, as you can see, features light in a dark mode. So let's open File Manager here and let's check out how the differences come along. Light theme, I can't complain, it looks pretty good with a dark bar and, well, a light window. It looks pretty good. The icon colors match with the white. Let's change to dark theme. Let's see how that looks. It says dark theme applied very cool and yeah well it's dark i can't complain this looks pretty good this looks aesthetic and i think we're going to stick with the dark theme for the rest of the video because well i'm a dark theme fan okay don't judge me and also one of the good things that i like about linux light is the light software basically this is a one-stop shop uh, which is very very simple to use and it's got well if not all most of your important things that any average person would require in their day-to-day -day use but first let's just quickly talk a little bit about how the linux Lite desktop looks let's briefly go through it so basically uh, linux Lite is meant for your older computers as i said in the intro uh you have a taskbar or a panel as linux people like to call on the left, you have your start menu. We're going to go through that a bit later. Your pinned apps, so Chrome, File Manager, and Terminal. Starting from Linux Lite 6.0, Google Chrome is actually the new default. And another thing is that your uh, tabs for applications so show like this. So kind of like Windows XP style, where apart from the icon, you also have the name of the thing written, but I'm not sure this should be File Manager instead of my name. You also have workspaces. So let's say you open four or five applications in one place and then you have something and then you have something urgent to do. Uh, so you don't want to disturb this layout. You just go over to the new workspace. Uh, maybe you fire up your emails or you can do things related to your work. Apart from that, you also have network settings in here. Pretty standard. This would be your software updater. This is your sound. Uh, the volume icon looks a bit too big for this taskbar, but it's OK. You also have an audio mixer, so very standard playback, recording, output devices, input devices, and uh, configuration for whatever audio devices you have. And to our right, you have the date and time. So this is a little bit too small for my liking, but it's okay, it's functional. And if you wanna change what appears in here, you can just right click, uh, click on panel, I'll go to panel preferences and uh, as you can see you have a lot of options here so you have display appearance um, items so if you want to change how date and time looks as you can see this is a list of all the things that the panel has so if i double click on date and time you can see i can change the font i can change the format and i can also make it date and time so maybe like this uh, it's it's a little too small but you can always increase the font if you want to so that's there Let's go to the start menu. Now this is a whisker menu. This is an updated version compared to what the last version was. And on a side note, we are using the XFCE 4.16 desktop environment. Now, one of the best things about Linux Lite and this whisker menu, the way they implemented it is the application names would be very familiar to you. So let's say I go to graphics and over here you can see document scanner. What does it do? It scans documents. Image editor, what does it do? It creates images and edits photographs. So like this, instead of having names like Google Chrome uh, or Thunderbird and GIMP 
or um, let's say VLC, you have names like Media Player and uh, um, Word Processor, Spreadsheet. And now that we're done with the tour, with a little tour of the desktop environment, let's talk about some of the things that are actually new this time around. So one of the things which is new is actually System Monitor. So System Monitor, as you can see, this is a very very cool way to see what's going on. On one hand, you have your performance tabs, processes, users, startup, services, and system. To the left, you have your CPU, RAM, disk, network, GPU, and sensors. How cool is that? So if you move to the RAM tab, you can see the RAM usage. And by the way, this is inside of a virtual memory, I mean machine. So yeah, that's that. Just putting it out there. Network, Beautiful GPU. Uh, well, again, this is a power virtual graphics card, like you saw, and sensors. So, for the sensors that would appear uh, if you install this on bare metal. So, you also have the number of processes that are running here, and what kind of memory or CPU they're using, and who are the users. So, it's only me right now. Uh, under startup, you have like which applications start up at the time of startup. Pretty self explanatory under services whatever services that are running right now so uh you know what this reminds me of this reminds me of windows task manager but better simply better and under system you also have the name of the operating system the vendor and the package and the graphical user interface that we're using as you can see we are on xfce and we are using x11 windowing system or compositor instead of wayland and the kernel number for this release is 5.15 because this is based on Ubuntu 22.04 and that's the kernel that it uses. And this is an LTS kernel, so you don't have to worry about anything. Linux Lite 6.0 out of the box, uh, it includes an on-screen keyboard, actually beautifully named and aptly named Onboard. So Onboard, as you can see, is an on-screen keyboard. It's very, very simple and you can obviously increase the size because that was way small for my liking and another thing that they have is a screen reader app called orca so if i can just go to orca i believe this is screen reader on window okay well now i don't have to tell you what it is it's a screen reader app and you also have a built-in magnifier that can be accessed through the left Alt, left alt plus mouse scroll so that's your magnifier anyway uh, i'm going to left alt oops i'm going to go back to this and now let's talk about settings so the linux light settings as you can see very straightforward appearance desktop file manager notifications panel you can configure everything that you like from here and you can also upgrade your system. Good, I'm quickly going to go through these. So here you can change your themes, icons, fonts, and settings. If I go back, go to desktop, as you can see, I probably will be able to change my wallpaper. Oh yeah, let's, uh, let's pick a nice wallpaper for this video. This one? Yeah, that's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, we're going to stick with it. You can change your menus and icon settings over here. And you have... A lot of other things such as file manager settings, window manager tweaks. So you can uh, go through a lot of these if you're interested and you can learn about XFCE. XFCE is a light and solid desktop environment. And one of the most important things about this uh, entire settings is actually light software. So this isn't like your GNOME software or um, Ubuntu software or anything, but this is actually a bit different. In a way, it's way simplified. So you have two buttons, install software, remove software. Let's say I want to install something. So I click OK and this should pop up. Beautiful. So as you can see, it gives me a simple list of softwares that I could want to install. So you have a list consisting of Audacity, Calibre, Dropbox, Etcher, FileZilla, Kodi, Handbrake, Geary, you have a lot of things, or actually this is Gini, not Geary, but yeah, whatever. Play on Linux, Password Manager, OBS, Spotify, Steam, Teams, TeamViewer, Telegram, Torrent Software, <laughs> Torrent Software, 
Tor web browser video editing software, which is probably Kden Live. I'm not sure. Oh, this is actually open shot. So yeah, as you can see, most of the things that you might want is here. You can't complain, right? It is obviously not as flashy as GNOME software, but it does the work. It does the job. So we're going to go out. So we're going to quit it and uh, yep, quit. And a few other things that I want to talk about. Actually, there is one more thing that I really wanted to talk about in this. They have a new tool uh, called Light Patch, which is used for applying emergency security fixes. So that is pretty good. And so with that, guys, we come to the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching, for checking out Linux Lite with me. If you stayed until now, well, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.